ready this morning and about to head on out for our breakfast. Today is what's known as a free day. If you're here with Thompson or I don't know what other travel companies would do the same, but you get kind of activities organized for you every day, which is what you've seen us doing over the last couple of days going out on coaches etc etc and today we do have something going on this evening i think we get picked up about 6 15 pm but the whole of today is what's known as a free day and you get to do anything you want so you can book excursions you can just take a taxi and pop to a different town and we thought about booking an excursion we thought about maybe doing a reindeer ride however because we've kind of had a taste of husky reindeer rides type thing we thought we'd just go and explore today instead yeah, somewhere new somewhere new so instead of just doing like the excursions that are available we thought we'd go and explore somewhere new and we're about 50 euros in a taxi ride from a town called Rooker. Meant to be a really pretty ski town. Is it Rooker or Rooker? No, it's Rooker. Okay. From Rooker, which is meant to be, yeah, like Chris just said, a really pretty ski town. And um, there is a park there, Rudolph and Rosser, I think it's called, or Rosser and Rudolph Park, where you can have a go at skiing and things like that. And if you guys remember, Isabel went skiing with her school to Italy at the start of this year. And she absolutely loved it. And she just has been desperate to get me and Chris and the girls on some skis to just try it out. So we might do that today. Obviously, I can't ski. But there's, yeah, we're going to visit this little town, see what it's all about, have a little wander around and maybe see some local people, I don't know. And then maybe head on up to this Rosser and Rudolph Park and see what is going on up there. I'm really excited. It's going to be a fun day. The girls have already been out sledging this morning, having the best time ever. What are you two doing? You been having fun? Yeah, they've been out sledging while me and Chris have been finishing getting ourselves ready. But are you ready for some breakfast? Yeah. No. <laughs> Woo, look how pretty it is here, guys. So I would say we've had a nice family breakfast this morning, guys. Turned to just be me and Chris. <laughs> a bowl of oranges, a few bites of jammy toast, and some cucumber and ham. And the girls literally whacked their coats and hats back on. So please, can we go out? Can we go out? Can we go play in the snow? It's just me and Chris. See ya. Drinking our cups of tea. So we just arrived at Family Park here in Rooker. We did have a bit of a long wait for a taxi. We waited almost an hour. The girls weren't bothered though. They were outside making an igloo, which actually I let them fit inside. It looked a lot of fun. Anyway, me and Chris stayed inside, got warm, and now we've just arrived at the family park. It's about a 25 minute taxi ride from our hotel, and it cost, how much is that taxi? 55? 54. 54, 55 euros. Quite a lot of money for a taxi. However, it's not a lot to get into this park. It's 10 euros each, and this place looks so pretty and so fun, although we did have to drive up a mountain to get here, and obviously the cars over here are well equipped for the snow, but we're not used to that, so when they're taking corners at like, 30 miles an hour like, oh. in snow. <laughs> it was a bit nerve wracking. Anyway, we just jumped out of the taxi and this is what we can see right in front of us. It looks so much fun. Here, though, really. Yeah. Oh, guys, this place is absolutely stunning. Like, literally stunning. I was just saying to Sarah, we need to go on a ski holiday. It's absolutely gorgeous. Me and the girls are just making the walk right now across to that grey building over there to pick up our skis yeah. and ski boots. I know, I'm so excited. And then we're gonna get on the slopes, I think. This looks like a lot of fun, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was a little bit stressful. <laughs> Mostly because it's very, very hot in there. But we're all kitted out now. We've got boots. You'll be fine, darling. We've got cute helmets. Boot says May. We've got skis on, we've got poles on, we've got goggles on. We're ready to go hit the slopes. I'm quite excited. The snow, the sky, everything's yellow. Yeah, man. Are you excited, guys? Yeah. Are you excited, Isla? Yeah. Right. I think the best thing is that we walk over to Mum in our boots and then we put them on over there. No, because I have to carry them because we're really heavy. So I'm going to put mine on as well. Okay, I just think you might struggle a little bit, Isla, at first, but we'll give it a go, right? Okay. Esme, you're good? Yeah. Oh man, these guys are so excited. Isabel's got the low down, she's got it down. Woo! Isla's all ready now. Woo hoo! 
Well done, babe. That's it. You just push yourself with your poles, okay? All the way over to mummy. That's it as well done. You just close your gates like this. Ready? Push. Oh, you did this. Push. 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 Oh, that's how you stop, yeah? Yeah. Alright, Isabel's got it down. Yeah, I'm going to break my arm. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Good. No falling like mum, please, guys. Yeah. Don't fall. <laughs> okay. Let's go then, dudes. This place is incredible. You can't even see the top of the slope for the cloud. It's amazing. Look how many people are coming down at once. Oh my goodness. Ivy, you're doing so good, babe. So good, Esme. And Isabel have jetted off. <laughs> oh, look at this place, guys. Absolutely mega. Look at those log cabins on the hill. Oh, I'd love to stay in one of those so bad. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys, so we're in the family park today which is basically this slope behind me. You've got a couple of like travelators that take you to the top and then you ski back down. There's a small one which is starting on here for Ida and Esme and everybody. And there's like a medium one and there's like another one as well. It looks a lot of fun. Everyone's just getting their skis back on. That's right, because we walk, we ended up taking our skis back off once we put them on before because it was too thing. hard. It took like 10 years to get down. To get from the ski rental place over to the slopes is quite a distance and it was a bit hard for Esme and Isla and their little legs. So we took our skis back off and walked over. All right, Isabel, off she goes. <laughs> Woo! That's it, Isla, well done. Woohoo! Well done, babe. Good girl. First time skiing. <laughs> You ready, Esme? That's it, babe. Well done, perfect. Good girl, Esme. That was fun. Oh, Isla's getting off at the top. Okay, you ready? Isabel's going. Well done, babe. Oh, Esme's going too. Well done. Ready, boo boo? Woo! Okay. Good girl. That's it, Isla. Well done. Well done. That was so good. Well done, Izzy. Yeah. Go on, Esme. Oh, is Esme coming? Yay! That's it, Es. Well done, Esme. Such a brave girl, and I'm so proud of you. Yeah, Esme has already mastered it fully. Yeah, <laughs> it's like Isabel. Yeah. Well done, guys. Esme's really good. That to be fair, Esme's, Esme's really good. Do you know what I did on my first try? What? I fell into my instructor. <laughs> I went, Wah. That's all good. It's difficult. Very, very difficult. Do you remember that it's making a V shape like this? Yeah. Ready, Esme? Pilot, ready? One. Two, three, stop this time. Three. Woo! Good girls. Oh, almost. Woo -hoo. Well done, Isla. Well done, Isla. You stopped all on your own this time. Well done. No falling over. It's really fun, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Good girl. is in my mouth every time Isla starts to go down. She's so good though, bless her. She's literally fearless, is that girl? Oh my goodness, guys, this 
is literally so much fun. Obviously, I'm, I'm not so skiing. Good you are so good. Obviously, I'm not skiing because I'm pregnant, but in fact, the last time I put on skis when I wasn't pregnant was exactly one year ago when there was, wasn't even any snow. It was at Stockhell Park and I broke my arm badly in two places. So, <laughs> it's probably a good idea I'm not. But I am so impressed with these girls. Guys, I'm not even joking. I love it. I didn't think we were ski people. I really wanted to try it. No, some people go on like multiple ski holidays a year and love it and I never saw the appeal. Honestly, I want, I want to go on a ski holiday. These girls are having the time of their lives. Isla, what did you just say to me? This is the, the best day so far. This is the best day of my life. She's having a blast. They've picked it up so quickly, literally so fast. And now it's got a bit quieter. It's still, at, what time is it? It's 2 p.m. And they've got the little, go on darling. As you can see, she's got this one to herself right now. Yay. And then Esme and Isabel have, what's the word? Gone to the big ones. I can't remember what the word is I'm trying to say. Upgraded themselves and have gone to the big slope. <laughs> Woo! You go down like a boss lady. You've got the one all to yourself. Yeah, I've got one all to myself so I don't have to wait. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never seen anything cuter in my whole entire life. <laughs> it's going so fast right now. Well done, Woo! Yay! Well done, Es! Esme, you just did that massive one. It's so scary. How was it? It was really good. When you get to the top, snow goes on your face. So, I want to know how much you like skiing. Um, out of what? Ten. Um, ten. <laughs> About five minutes ago, when you had your first two or three goes, did you think you liked it? So what did I say? You're not a quitter, you are a trier. And she could do it, she just couldn't stop herself. So she was falling on a bump. But I said, just give it a couple more goes, Esme. And what happened? I did it! So what do we tell our iFam? Never keep, quit! Yeah, never quit. Just keep going, and now yeah. it's so much fun. Give me about one to 10. Okay, how much one to 10? Uh, a billion. A billion, and Isabel's okay. loving it so much too, and, yeah? And if you think you can't do it, don't say like you think you can't do it because then you might not be able to do it. You know, tell you yourself. Say, tell yourself I can do it. That's right, guys. Mum said try it, try it like five times. If you don't like it, you can quit. And I loved it the, uh, the third, time. Third, yeah, third time. Third time. Literally just disappeared for three minutes to go and drone that area. I've just got some of the best drone footage I've ever taken in my life. But in that three minutes I was gone, these guys have turned into pros. Esme's on the bigger side with Isabel doing the slalom, and Isla's doing it on her own without falling. I'm so proud of them. Boom! Yes, Esme!
can honestly say I've had the best day ever today. It has been so much fun. And the most special bit about today has been the fact that I've seen these guys just loving life and, and skiing and just having the best time ever. Literally, it's been it's been the best. One of my favorite holidays ever by far. Every day has been incredible. And today's our last full day. Tomorrow we go home. Which kind of sucks. We go home in the afternoon and I don't want to leave here because it's just magical. But it has definitely sparked mine and Sarah's inspiration for having a, like doing a ski holiday. Yay. It's not something we ever have considered before, but, but definitely after today and stuff, it's made us have a real hunger for it. Especially because the girls have loved it so much and they've been so good at doing it. I'm so, so impressed with them. But right now, just before we head off, it is actually currently 3.30 right now, which is weird, right? Because it's pitch black dark. <laughs> but we've got some hot chocolates waiting for us in the ski bistro here. Sarah's just gone to go and get them. So we're going to have a hot chocolate and a biscuit before we get a taxi back to our hotel and something very special that's happening tonight for our last night here. So Chris and the girls have just gone to take their ski gear back and I have come inside to the little restaurant here to get us all some hot chocolates. I've just paid for the hot chocolates and you actually get to put the marshmallows and the whipped cream on it yourself. So I'm about to top them up good right now. Check this out. We've got a big jar of marshmallows here. Top these hot chocolates up good. Our clothes I'm, because I sadly, look like a marshmallow. Yes, you do. So, somebody was asking where this coat was from. Actually, it's very cute. It's a unicorn coat. Stand back a bit, marshmallow. Mm. And it was from That's Next, if anyone's wondering. And we've had a lot of people asking where these balaclava scarf hats are from. And we got those on sale this week, actually. I think we went on Monday and bought those. And they were for £8 and they were from Go Outdoors. So I definitely recommend, definitely the hats. They're fab. And the girls have not complained once they've been called this whole, whole trip. And they're not itchy either. Yeah, they're not itchy either. Oh. Anyway, guys, we just got back to the room, got ourselves changed because we have to actually hand in our gear that we've borrowed through Thompson this trip we have to hand that in now tonight before the special gala dinner that we've got for our last evening we've had such a good day today I'm super sad that we didn't get chance to go into Rucka to explore the little town I really wanted to do that but unfortunately well not unfortunately I don't regret it one bit these girls just had way too much fun Ski. on those ski slopes today and we didn't have chance after we'd finished doing that to get back for the gala dinner that we've got for our last night. Is everyone almost ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get going then. Oh my goodness, girls. This looks so, so gorgeous. This is ridiculously cute. It's mega in there. Look at all the candles everywhere and that fire at the front as well. And the Christmas tree! Oh my goodness. We just took a 20 minute ride down the road from our resort to our gala dinner. It's just by the airport in Cusimo, but it's absolutely beautiful. We're in the middle of the woods in a big log cabin, which is just filled with candles, Christmas trees and fires. You've just seen it all. It's so, so stunning. We're about to have a three course dinner and some entertainment, and it looks really, really good. So guys, we're just walking up now to go and watch the fireworks show. This place is so, so beautiful and magical. It's ridiculous. When the blazing sun is gone, when nothing shines upon. Then you show
All right, guys, have a read. See if you can find your names on, on either the naughty or the nice list. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. My name! Eskimo Esme. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Look, Can you find you, Isla? Igloo Isla. 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 <laughs> Can you Isla. find Isabel on there? Ivy Isabel. Ivy Isabel. Ooh. Where are you on the nice, nice list? list. Oh, all three of you guys are on the nice list. Oh my goodness. I didn't expect that. I thought you'd all be on the naughty list. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, go tell mummy. Let's go. Anyway guys, we are going to end our video out here tonight. We've just got back to Aww. our apartment and it is our last night here. And I'm super sad about that. Literally, I've loved this holiday more than any other holiday I think we've ever had. I have too. I knew Lapland would be amazing, obviously, but I didn't think it would be quite as incredible. We've traveled a lot this year and we've visited some incredible places together as a family and made some absolutely amazing memories that not only do we have to remember ourselves, we've got them down, vlogged, and we can watch them back whenever we want. And the girls can watch them when they're older. Yeah, and I know these vlogs will be completely... You can't completely, put a price on them. You can't put a price on the vlogs. No. This has been by far my best trip. I it don't think we will incredible. ever, ever be able to top this holiday. It's just been so non-stop, so incredible, so many new experiences, and just completely and utterly amazing. Magical. That's yeah. what it is. You can't be the magic that this place has about it's it. It's been so good. <laughs> it's like almost 10 p.m. right now. We've got quite an early start tomorrow because we get picked up for the airport at 10.30. But the girls have a bucket list <laughs> before we go. And that yeah. includes snowball fights and sledging and all sorts of stuff. So, so we're we need going to get, to get up, up nice really and early. early. So we're going to get up really early so that we've got a chance to do that. It's 10 p.m. now and I can't see them. It's coming. Oh, no. I don't think hot chocolate's going to work tonight. They're sledging right now, <laughs> as you can see. They're just going Way too down, much then. energy still, despite the fact that they've skied all day long. They literally love this place. They do. I don't think they'd ever get bored of the snow either. No. I, like I say though, it's totally different snow to the UK. Totally different. Like, if anyone's thinking like, oh my gosh, you must be so wet and so cold, you don't. Obviously it's cold, but I think in the UK you get more miserable and cold because you're soaking wet. It's just snow wet here. It's because it's too cold, it doesn't melt. You can sit on the... In fact, whilst I was sat waiting for these guys to get their skis on today, I was sat on the ground and I stood up after about half an hour because they took ages. And then literally about two hours after, I had ice on my butt. <laughs> it didn't melt. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to say goodnight here because we are going to end this vlog here. We're going in, throwing all of our suitcases together, packing everything up very, very fast, getting to sleep so we can get a super early start tomorrow and have some adventures before we head off to the airport. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed, and we'll sorry see you tomorrow. About, and sorry about the late vlog tonight. We've had problems rendering. Yeah. And it kept going corrupt, but hopefully it's you've watched it now. If not, go back and watch it because yesterday's vlog was incredible. Yeah, it was so good. The girls good. got a massive surprise when we went and visited. No, they got a massive shock of their lives. Yeah, they did when we went <laughs> and visited the real Santa. So if you've not watched that vlog, head on over there and watch it. We'll see you all tomorrow, guys. Bye. Bye.